Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Abaddon 2. Last episode, we basically went through more of the air of the deep cells, the area underneath uh, Avern of its dungeons. Cleared out a couple of traps and several escaped prisoners, but unfortunately, Shabon, I believe his name was, was able to get away again. But fortunately, he is trapped. There's nowhere else he can go. Now, well, we're almost ready to continue with our main quest, but first, we have to help out Diedrich. For that, we need to head back into the Contested Lands. Specifically, we need to go to the Blackwood. Fortunately, it's not going to be too far to get there. Come on, Diedrich. Let's head out. I can help you out, I believe. Don't know how long this is going to take, but well, hopefully it'll go well. Here's the Blackwood. Is it on the east side? We're supposed to go to a stone circle. I know that much. And there it is, right over here. Okay, came in the right area. All right, let's get around. I guess coming from the south also could have worked. Eh, no biggie. Through the forest we go. All right, here's the stone circle. There's a stone circle in the clearing ahead. Not a copy of the stone code built by the Kava. It's a wild realm circle. Such circles are used for astronomical measurements and meetings of political import. Such a meeting is about to take place. Several wild realm warriors are waiting here for you. Diedrich is beside himself with excitement. My sister, I have not seen her in so long. They are solemn as you approach, but happily their weapons stay at their sides. When you get close to the circle, several people step out of hiding. They are Wildrealm folk, and not for the first time you are amazed at how well they had concealed themselves. There are six of them, all armed. Two are women, four are men, and one of the men is a shaman of high rank. Your hand reflexively inches toward your weapon, but Diedrich stops you. You turn to look at him and see a tear raining down his cheek. It's all right, Farron. They are my people. There, this is not an ambush. A single tear runs over the tattoo, marking his banishment. He wipes it away. Of course not. If it was, I doubt they would bring my sister. Who are they? One man is Gare, my father. One of the women is Vela, my sister. And the shaman... He is Tybalt, and he is no friend of mine. Tell me about your family. They are... They are my family. There is no bad blood. I have missed them terribly. Tell me about Tybalt. When the time came to choose what would happen to me, he spoke neither for or against me. However, when the vote happened, he sided with my foes, those who wanted to oppose the pact. There is some time to talk before we see what they want. Of course. Matters of state can wait for five minutes while I greet my family properly. He steps forward, arms out wise, wide. Then he and his family run to greet each other. Father! Sister! My son! Diedrich! Diedrich greets his father and sister in a warm embrace. Meanwhile, you face off against Tybalt. You stare at each other. At first, it is tense. Then it is just awkward. You have come far! Are they feeding you well? Too well, I think. <coughs> Diedrich continues to talk to his family. Tybalt clears his throat. They ignore him. Your feet start to hurt. You clear your throat. They ignore you. Tell me the news. Your dog had puppies. They, it has rained for months. The rebels said... At last, Diedrich remembers that you are here. With great regret, he parts from his family and walks over to join you. <laughs> Sorry. Tybalt says in a slow, deep voice, At last, our parlay can begin. Diedrich, you look well. I'm glad you have found a worthy path outside our lands. Yes, I did. I had no choice. You voted to banish me, after all. Wait silently. I had no choice but to vote against you, Diedrich. Diedrich is having none of it. You did have a choice. You could have voted correctly. All you had to do was raise your arm. And lose. And lose influence. I would have lost the ability to help you, which I can do now. You would help Diedrich. Ah, oh, now that I can. 
The shamans of our tribe were overwhelmingly against the pact. When the rebellion began, they wanted to join it. The rest of us, being sane, refused. Most of them left. Things have changed. The leaders of our tribe will now consider changing Diedrich's status. Isn't banishment permanent? It has long been so, but these are chaotic times. Our storytellers say that in ages past, those banished have been allowed re to return in special circumstances. Yes, of course. And my influence as a Hand of Avedon has nothing to do with it. Wait to see what Diedrich says. Diedrich doesn't keep you waiting long. Tybalt, the tribe did me an injustice. The mark on my face marks me forever. Yet I still take my duty to them seriously. It is sacred. What do you want? A band of Kavar mercenaries has infiltrated the contested lands. They must be destroyed. You want us to hunt Kavar mercenaries? Yes. I will not lie, this is a delicate matter. These are no Farlanders, but citizens of the Pact. However, they are entering lands that are by right ours. This is disrupting the balance. It will harm the peace. If the Pact is to stay at peace, they cannot be allowed to take advantage of the chaos. They must go. Kalida frowns. To slay Kaval warriors. A hard thing. Very dangerous. Even if they would disrupt the peace. Why don't you kill them yourselves? Because it would lead to war between the Kaval and the Wildrealm. Only someone above the fray, like a Hand of Avedon, can safely act. How do you think Redbeard would respond to my aiding you? If blood is spilled, I think that he would be very, very angry. I would suggest not telling him. Have you complained about this to Hanvar's council? Of course. They will not act. The Kaval on the council claim that a small band of mercenaries is of no concern, and the rest of the council is happy to be just as lazy. Only a Hand of Avedon has the authority to help. I only have to drive them out. Yes, if they will allow it. I do not think they will. I think only bloodshed will drive them out. And in return? In return, Diedrich can return home. Only for short visits, alas. That is all I could get for now, but I think it will be pleasing. Diedrich nods. What about the mark on his face? It is no mere tattoo. It can't be removed. It will be with him until the grave. And if some shamans are to be believed, beyond. Diedrich, what do you say to this? Diedrich turns to you. Farron, it is a hard thing, but Tybalt speaks true. These mercenaries are moving into our lands. If they remain, more will follow. I swear to you, I will be your loyal helper. Whatever you ask of me, I will do it. Let me fight for my people. Let me return from, uh, to my tribe. There is no other way for Diedrich to return home? Tybalt shakes his head. It was a miracle I could get this offer. If it is rejected, there will not be another. Dietrich is banished for life. Gear and Vela wince when they hear this. Very well, we will do it. Dietrich is relieved. Tybalt nods. The mercenaries are in the Kaval Riverlands, south of Rockridge Keep. I believe you have been there. You have. When they are gone, return here. I will meet with you. I wish you good hunting. The group walks out of the circle. Gear and Vela give their son and brother one final embrace. Then they are gone. Goodbye. Son. You are alone in the circle. I do not hope, know how to react. Hope. I have not felt it in so long. Home. Oh, I may have a true home once again. Thank you for standing with me. Of course, Diedrich. I only hope we'll be able to uh, solve this without bloodshed. Because if there is... An odd noise makes you stop walking. It takes a moment to identify it. Diedrich is whistling. He gives you an embarrassed smile. <sighs> Sorry. He walks on silently, but the smile is still on his face. Well, this seems simple and straightforward, but... I worry that something will cause him to... I don't know, some problem to happen. Beyond it just being, uh... Beyond it just being, well, members of the Pact. Uh, internal politics. Well, at least we know where they are. Hopefully we can at least drive them out. And not have to kill them. Alright, it's through this path. 
Let's see, there they are. Halric. Halric is still guarding the gate. Once again, I must ask you to retreat. Monitor Nima has told us to slay all trespassers. We will not hesitate. As he waits for your response, he notices Diedrich. He is not happy to find a Wildrilm shaman at his gates. Who is Monitor Nima? Okay, is there anything... I'm sorry, but I am going to pass. Step aside. Your words only succeed in alarming the defenders. They raise their weapons, ready to fight at any moment. No, we will not withdraw. We are people of the Kavar. We have every right in the world to be here. It is our land, and we have every right to deal with trespassers. We would rather die than surrender these rights. I'm coming in. You step through the gate. And it turns out the Kavar warriors were not bluffing. They attack. A mind shield? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. I'm sorry. You would not agree to leave. Okay, that's not pleasant. Okay, uh, actually, acid mist will help out. And you're hasted. Which is nice, which means that guy can die. Yeah, I figured you'd do that. Cured, terrified, ensnared, just bloody hell. That's a nice hit. These guys are powerful. And that's a lot of damage they're dealing out. Bloody hell. Yes, I get it. You're terrified, too. How long will this terrify last? Kalita, you're taking way too much damage here. You need to be healed. Okay, you can at least wound Halric. Okay, you need to heal, uh... You heal her. Good. Alright, Savage Blow. You do what you can against that, that Kavam warrior. Once it's all dead, we can focus on Halric. There we go. All that leaves is Halric. Looks like all his protections wore off. Wish it didn't have to come to this. I doubt we're going to be keeping this secret from Redbeard. We are going to mention what happened. Is it sad that it's coming to this? Is it sad that we have to kill members of the Pact for this? Yes. But to help out our companion for this, I'll do so. Elixir of Battle and, it's, and an Assault Crystal. Ooh, Elixir of Battle is a new potion. Yay. That works. Okay. Now we have to go in here. Where we will be fighting more. As you walk down this path, Diedrich stops. He looks down at his staff. You can see that his hands are trembling slightly. Diedrich, what's wrong? Diedrich looks at you and you can see the pain on his young face. We are fighting. Fighting the pact. Killing our allies. This is not... I did not want this. This is what you wanted. No, this is what my clan wanted. They are taking advantage of my sense of duty. I have let them. We can always turn back. Now? After blood is spilled? No, we are here. It must be done. I can convince myself that we are doing the right thing. Come on. He walks on. There's more guards. All archers. You know what? Draw them back. Or they don't come. Alright, I guess we don't have much of a choice. I see more warriors over there.
more chance, hasting. You know what, summon a... Summon a commander. We could use the assistance, I think. There's that one dead. Perhaps if we get far enough away from those two, we'll be able to draw them away a bit. And archers are so annoying. Only because they are able to stay away like this. Ah, of course. Alright. And we move over here, that should... And they don't care. Okay, I guess we gotta charge over to them. Uh, use a group heal spell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How about you use your Berserk Leap? Muhaha. Ooh, it dazes them. It doesn't knock them back like in the other one. I'll take that. Excellent. So Berserk Leap is actually even more useful than it used to be. I love it. Alright, now for these. Another warrior and an archer. Okay, you can fight that warrior, you two go for the archer. I don't want it picking us off again. Come on. Besides, these guys are mercenaries. That's what we can say. I hope. Uh, there will be words for us, I know that. Oh, here comes another archer. And a blade master. That's not pleasant. Diedrich has taken a lot of pain. Diedrich, you need to heal yourself, I think. Egg, do a group heal. Heal everyone. Okay. Savage blow there. You can't reach the archer, so you go after the blade master. War curse! Yay! Alright, can you. Stunning Bash might not be a bad idea, I think. Oh, that works! It actually got. She actually got stunned! Good! I think meant she missed a turn, which is good. Oh yeah, she missed a turn. And she's down. Okay. Some coins, elixir of speed, potion of speed. Oh! Those. Okay. That was dice and the like. Okay. Another potion of speed. Let's see what's around the north side here before we uh, continue on into where we're supposed to go. Didn't look like there was anything. But well, we have found the main hall. As you approach the front door of the Kvah stockade, Kalita stops moving. You are used to these brief fugues while you travel. It's not surprising that she reacts this way now when you are killing her fellow Kvah warriors. Wait for Kalita to recover. After a moment, she returns to herself. She notices you, watching and her, and blushes slightly. Apologies, Farron. I was trying to remember. Yes? I recall so little of my life before Avedon, when I was truly of the Kvar. Fighting them now... I wish I felt it more. I should feel worse than I do. Why are you helping me to fight them? 
For the peace of the pact, the one thing I truly still believe in. These troublemakers from the Kava, they are here to fight. They do not add to the peace. If you have decided they need to be removed, I will help you. Let's get this ugly business done. That is true. 